Okay, hi. Uh, this is a picture of Cape St. Mary at Victoria Crater. Uh, it's an image uh, identifier is PIA 10211. That's the NASA catalog uh, photo identifier. It was taken on June 23, 2007 uh, by the uh, Opportunity Rover. And the purpose of um, uh, this little clip is to demonstrate that any image of decent clarity uh, will show uh, life on Mars, because uh, Mars is a living planet uh, just like Earth, uh, which has its own unique life forms. And uh, I will be pointing out um, what I feel is, is significant in this image, and I'll start uh, right now. So we're going to zoom in, and I want to zoom in up in this corner, and what I believe we're seeing is a humanoid very similar to that famous uh, picture of uh, that desert uh, image of uh, apparently it seemed like a woman. But this uh, image uh, appears to show a, humo a humanoid that's kneeling. You can clearly see a legs, uh, an abdomen here, um, elbows. And I believe that they're holding some kind of uh, device pointed at the rover. Because uh, I believe that this might be a scouting, some kind of scouting m mission. You can see two eyes. You can see the head. And I'll zoom out. But before I do that, let me pan a little bit to the right. I believe this is uh, this image here shows, uh, even though it's extreme zoom, uh, maybe another humanoid in support of this one uh, on some kind of scouting mission, uh, checking out the rover. So I'm going to zoom out again, get some perspective. Here we go. All right, and I'm going to zoom in, and I want you to be prepared because this shows different kinds of life uh, that are evidently living in these, this crater wall. And just like here on Earth, we have different forms of life. On Mars, I believe it's no different. And this is an object which I found fascinating that is perched right here. Uh, I want you to take note of the hand and if you can if you take your own hand and you take your forefinger and your thumb and you hold it in a in a kind of like a U shape you get a very similar shape as to what we're seeing here. And it clearly has a head, uh, some eyes, nose, mouth, you can see the shape, chin, and then you can see the arm appears to be holding some kind of object here and has additional detail, body detail. And I'll zoom out and get some perspective. And then this one is a really interesting object. I'm not going to characterize it too much, but it, uh, you obviously have some kind of head, some eyes, uh, appears to be holding some kind of staff and uh, you can decide what this means to you but I, I find it absolutely fascinating. Alright, I'll zoom out. Alright, so uh, it appears we have these two humanoid objects uh, or life forms uh, positioned in this uh, cradle wall. And then I'm going to skip over this one for now. And then we'll go over to here. I'll zoom out and get a little more perspective. And then we'll zoom in. Now this is a similar to an object that uh, was in another one of my short little clips. And again, you can barely make out the hand, the U-shape uh, on the hand, but that's emblematic of a lot of these life forms. And in high definition, you can make out a face that is looking up. And 
is he's half in and half out of the light so he's half in shadow and I'm going to zoom back out and let me zoom back in you can see the u-shape hand I believe in this perspective a little bit better okay I'll zoom back out and then we're going to go over to this area here which clearly shows a cave entrance okay it's arched I believe this is some kind of material uh, it could be a geotextile or you know whatever they use it's very similar to the material in the, in the other video that I've made uh, it has some kind of um, I wouldn't call it a uh, cornice, but it's some kind of uh, uh, object at the at the top here, and you can clearly see that it's. Uh, I believe it's made out of just a, a material, um, and you can clearly see it's a cave entrance. And I'll zoom out. And then I'm going to go up to the top here and this is something that I found in many of the photos is that there there appears to be uh, there's an artistic element uh, that's present and I believe that these uh, graphics if you will are are essentially paintings uh, that have been made uh, for display and I'm just pointing this out and you could decide what what that means to you but this appears to be one individual it appears to be uh, with some smaller childlike uh, or other objects and it's almost cartoonish uh, but I want to point them out because I did find them in this image and then I'll zoom back out and I'll keep this clip short and then in many Mars images, and this is what I, I think is, is holding back the scientific community, is that there is an element uh, of life on Mars that is outside uh, uh, accepted science or outside the accepted realms. And we're getting more into uh, uh, paranormal, what we would consider paranormal or ethereal. Uh, but I want to point this out because this is something that uh, I'm going to be focusing on in, in another video but this is uh, uh, evidence of that and this object here uh, I believe is, is, is a paranormal what we would consider a paranormal object or, or I'm calling an energetic ethereal uh, type of object I believe this object is in motion and then we're going to zoom in and I believe that this is a face and it's almost like he's got a beard and uh, he's wearing some kind of uh, or he appears to be wearing some kind of hat and I'm gonna zoom out but in a lot of the photos uh, I'm, I'll be pointing out that there is a lot of activity that shows this kind of energetic motion involving humanoid or, or I'm gonna call uh, what we would call spiritual or ethereal objects that appear to be uh, systemic or, or common on Mars and I believe that this type of activity uh, is holding back our scientific community because they just uh, there is no reference here on earth uh, to describe this kind of behavior but we do have it in the photographs from Mars so I'll zoom back out and there it is Cape St. Mary, Victoria Crater, taken um, in June 23rd, 2007, and this is just another photo showing more evidence of life on Mars, uh, the living planet, uh, even though Matt NASA has uh, not admitted to even finding a microbe uh, that um, appears uh, to be um, not the case. There's uh, life and plenty of it on Mars. Okay, take care for now and God bless.